You know, if there's one trick I've learned over the years in selecting plants for garden situations, and that is try as much as possible to match plants' requirements with the conditions that you have in your garden. And if you have gravelly, gritty, well-drained areas in full sun, then take a look at these brooms, because these plants have naturally evolved to grow in upland situations that are gritty and gravelly and well-drained. And therefore, they're ideal in that sort of situation. Once you get them established, you'll find that they really love to grow in that sort of situation. They don't need much nutrient and they're very drought tolerant. And when you get them growing in those sorts of conditions, you'll find that they'll put on lots of lush growth that with these green stems that then in springtime and early summer are absolutely wreathed with masses of buds that then open to lots of these little pea-like flowers that are absolutely gorgeous and are fragrant too. Now there's two selections here. This one's called All Gold, which as you see has a deep kind of yellow color. Then this one is called Moonlight, and it is a softer kind of primrose yellow. Again, masses of buds on green stems. And then the little one on the end is Oceris, and this one only grows two foot high, and as you see is covered with bright golden flowers that really is just beautiful for raised beds, for rockeries, anywhere where you're going to be able to enjoy these beautiful flowers, which incidentally are highly attractive to pollinating insects. Now these are, as I say, very easy plants to grow as long as the conditions are gravelly and gritty and well-drained. It's important when you buy them that you get nice container-grown plants because that's when you'll get off to a perfect start. You want nice bushy plants that are not wibbling about in the top of the pot. Pick up them, shake them around a little bit, make sure that they're nice sturdy plants. And one final thing I want to mention when you do get these and get them growing is once they finish flowering, go in and trim them back by at least two thirds. The, all of these shoots, as you see here, were made last year. That's the shoots that carry the flowers then. So go in, trim them back to about maybe six inches or so. Then you'll get lots of bright green growth and then masses, even more flowers than these next year and in subsequent years. Just make sure that you don't go in and trim back to the old brown wood at the end. So it's important that you keep them young and juvenile and healthy and strong growing and then you'll have gorgeous flowering brooms that will bring you loads of color without much care and attention.